Fly Girl. Author's Note. Fly Girl is a fictionalized account based on a true story of the women Air Force Service pilots and their heroic feats. While I took great license with events and names, here are a few factual notes. First of all, the acronym WASP is both singular and plural, since it stands for Women Air Force Service Pilots with an S. To add another would be redundant. The WASP program was part of the United States Army, as was all other military aviation during the first two world wars. The United States Air Force, as we know it today, was not established as a separate branch of the military until 1947. The two WASP actually assigned to learn how to fly the B-29 were Dora Doherty Struther and Dorothea Johnson Mormon. The plane they flew was dubbed Ladybird, and they flew several trips from Alabama to New Mexico before the Army put a stop to the stunt. In the story, when Lily and Ida overhear a soldier dubbed the B-29 another Widowmaker, he is referring to the accident-prone B-26 Marauder, another plane the WASP proved they could successfully fly. In 1941, Russian women began flying military missions for their country. By the end of the war, they had earned the named Night Witches for their nighttime bombing runs against the Nazis. The United States Air Force did not allow women to fly combat missions, until the mid-1990s. Bessie Coleman, Jackie Cochran, Dee Dee Deaton, General Hap Arnold, Doc Monserrat, and Nancy Love are all real people. Read more about them in Amy Nathan's wonderful book, Yankee Doodle Girls, Marion Vergus's On Silver Wings, to which I owe the wonderful wasp song the girls sing on the way to the airstrip and many of the other reference books listed on my website, www.sherrylsmith.com. For more information on the true WASP, visit the WASP website at www.wingsacrossamerica.org and the National WASP WW2 Museum at www.waspmuseum.org. Hazel Ah Ying, the Chinese wasp who inspires Ida Mae to join, was one of the two Asians accepted into the wasp program, Maggie Yi being the other. Hazel was killed in the Lion of Duty. There is rumor to have been one Latina in the program as well, but I have found no name to put into the rumor. There is no evidence that any African American women were a part of the wasp program, either by passing or being accepted, regardless of their race. Janet Harmon Bragg is an African-American pilot who was rejected by the WASP program solely on the basis of race. She is the inspiration for the woman Ida May sees at the recruitment office. Mrs. Bragg learned to fly at Coffee School of Aeronautics in Chicago, where Ida May's father attended. She went on to teach aviation to schoolchildren, but it was not her primary career. Of the women who flew in the WASP program, most went back to their lives on the ground housewives and secretaries. A few found work as flight instructors and moved to Alaska, where the new frontier had room for female bush pilots. The WASP bill was finally passed in 1977 under President Jimmy Carter's administration, officially militarizing the WASP. The women who had served their country more than 30 years before, who had been forced to pay for their own funerals when denied military benefits, were finally given honorable discharges and full veterans' rights. At long last, the passing of the WASP bill paved the road the women of the WASP had forged years before, making way for the hundreds of female pilots of all races in the United States military today.